guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia DeShields. Just months ago, this artist released the long-awaited seven-track EP, The Anchor Punch, and he's already got a new album on the way. I'm excited to welcome hip-hop artist and your philanthropist, Thelonious yeah. Kryptonite. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How about you? Good. Good. Glad to be here. What a name. Yeah. Tell us where, what what does it mean and where did it come from? Uh, at first, it was just Kryptonite, mm -hmm. and uh, I was I went to University City High School. And it's uh, pretty much a history of artists. And back then, when I for began rapping, I battled like three or four guys at one time, just mm -hmm. battle rapping. And um, my friend was like, what are you going to call yourself? Because I beat all of these guys mm -hmm. at one time. And then he was like, what are you going to call yourself? I was like, I don't know. And then the next day, he's like, we should call you Kryptonite. And I just went ahead and did it. And um, after years of... Uh, I went to college, I went to the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff mm -hmm. on a marching band scholarship and I developed a, a musicianship with jazz and concert band. And um, I, that, that name kind of came about with me just paying homage to Thelonious Monk and my love for jazz and the late great artist Jay Dilla. Wow. Now you're one of the most eclectic um, hip hop artists that I've ever met and I love hip hop. So what makes you so eclectic? Um, the, 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 the sound of the music, and um, you're not, you're not going to hear the same type of uh, sound, you're not going to hear the same cadence from me lyrically, and I think that um, I'm always striving to go farther than what seems to be the norm in hip-hop, mm -hmm. um, so I think the, the, the genre blending approach that I always add as composing and producing, I think that really signifies the sound of me being eclectic. Right, and not just in your music, but in your style. Every time I see you, <laughs> you just, I love your style. What, what is your inspiration um, uh, just, behind it? Just me being myself, mm -hmm. really. That's just my inspiration. Um, I know you like hats, because I see your hats. Yeah, yeah, I like <laughs> my hats. That's my signature, the hats and the glasses. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, I, I, I like to, I, I actually just began to, to go to the fashion shows and just peep out what would be, you know, good for my, my style. And mm -hmm. then once I go to the fashion shows and, and, and have a passion for fashion, mm -hmm. I think that developed my own style from there. Right. And with your, and when you, I've seen you perform, and your performances are very, very high energy. And even in a suit, you're like super, <laughs> super high well, yeah. energy. Well, I have to be. You know, <laughs> I, I grew up uh, watching uh, Michael Jackson, uh -huh. uh, and I'm, I'm really inspired by Janelle Monet when I see her perform. She's always looking sharp, and she's mm -hmm. got a lot of energy. So, uh, you know, I aspire her to be close to that. Right. You know? Now, tell us about your EP that came out. Oh, the EP was a dedication to Muhammad Ali. It was mm -hmm. called The Anchor Punch. The Anchor Punch is a, the punch that he hit Sonny Liston with the second time they fought, and he knocked him out in the first round, the first minute. Only one punch in wow. the first round, and he, he was already champion, but he knocked him out the second time. So I felt like that's what I was doing. And paying, you know, me being inspired by Muhammad Ali, I wanted to pay homage to him and then put a whole musical montage to his legacy. Great. We got a lot more to talk um, to you about. So you guys don't want to go anywhere. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> uh, stay with us right here. We're going to hear a lot more from Thelonious Kryptonite when we return to STL TV Live. <laughs> 